Hey guys, this is your Tesla Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming major winter storms that will likely impact the Midwest and then potentially portions of the Ohio Valley and Mid Atlantic as we get into the middle of next week. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button for like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video. This is out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the 18Z latest GFS run, and this is the morning of December 29th, Tuesday. And you can see widespread moderate to heavy snow in the Dakotas, Nebraska, with some potential mix of ice in Kansas. And as we move along into the afternoon of the 29th, you can see some mix of ice becoming heavier in Nebraska, Iowa, northern Missouri, with heavy snow in the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa. And into the evening of December 29th, you can see that heavy snow starts seeping into the Great Lakes region with some really heavy snow possible locally, along with a small corridor of ice. And going into the overnight hours into December 30th, you can see the snow pushes northeast, leaving ice in some areas, mix in some areas, heavy snow in some areas, heavy rain in some areas. Everything, every hazard is possible before transitioning to fully rain according to this model by the afternoon of December 30th. This is one model, one scenario. These are potential snowfall accumulations from the system. The first one in the Midwest, you can see widespread six plus inches in the pink colors you see there, uh, with some amounts getting close to 12 inches, potentially some localized areas of 12 inches. Otherwise, generally three to six inches widespread going across numerous states in the Midwest, upper Midwest. Moving ahead into the afternoon of December 31st, the last day of December, you can see heavy rain and storms in the Gulf in the south there, with a corridor of ice, a very narrow one, in portions of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Going into the late evening hours of December 31st, you can see widespread rain with snow transitioning in the back end with some ice. And this system is going to be very messy, the potential one that could impact the Mid-Atlantic. Other models show no systems, other models show a weaker system, some models show a stronger system. I'm just going to show you this one, but please know that there are many, many other possibilities that could happen. Into the overnight hours, into the first day of January, widespread heavy snow and widespread heavy ice in some localized corridors. And that pushes northeast out of the view of the United States by December 2nd. These are potential snowfall totals related to this system. You can see widespread 6 plus inches in that pink corridor and 12 plus inches in the crimson corridor. Otherwise, it's going to be mostly a heavy mix slash ice event according to this model. This is one model, one run. You can see snow according to this model as far south as Louisiana and far northern Alabama and Mississippi, and Northeast Arkansas, all those areas in the south here. These are potential ice accumulations, and you can see widespread half-inch plus, which is ice storm warning criteria for most people. Uh, and you can see one inch possible in some areas, and in New York, two inches, nearly three inches in some re regions of ice, just sheer ice. But I do believe this model is overplaying the ice potential at this time. But a nice storm is possible in some re regions, nevertheless. That's the Chester Weather Forecast for this upcoming potential two major winter storms. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.